Look at this mess. It is safe and it actually activates balancing more on those wheels and not so much weight. Just keep driving. Do you notice that it's back there? It is an RPI, so the RPI rate there. Oklahoma is a place. Feel good driving today? It did. It's so uh, pretty. And it is free parking. Listen to this dessert. Especially the part where I burnt my lips. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Who needs Taco Tuesday when it's Monday and you got Chef L. Brian. Yahoo! Taco Little any pizza day. With our chips that are grain free chips. And no, we are not sponsored by them, but if they'll give us more chips, we'll think about it. <laughs> Boy, it's chilly this morning. We're taking off from Lake Tawakini today here in Texas. So this is a Saturday, and as you know, we don't travel much on uh, on weekdays. We have to do our traveling on weekends. So we've got somewhere around a seven-ish hour drive. We're gonna go to Branson, and we're gonna stay there one week, visit some friends, and then work through the whole week. And then next weekend, we're gonna try to drive the rest of the way. We're gonna leave on a Saturday, go halfway about four or five hours, spend the night at a Harvest Host, and then from there, drive the rest of the way. I believe it's gonna be like a four and a half, five hour drive to uh, Truma in Elkhart, Indiana to get this Alda system fixed finally on the Airstream. And as you know, that's one of our main heating sources other than the heat pumps that are on the air conditioning unit, which heat pumps on an AC unit you cannot use if it's under 40 degrees. But with that being said, we're thinking we need to really have a, an emergency heating source even if we don't have a generator that we can use uh, even when the Alda system's working. If we have problems with that, we need an emergency heating system. So we thought about propane heater. It's a portable buddy. The portable buddy is supposed to heat up to, I believe it's 225 square foot. It, it's perfect for this size. We have a little uh, heater that we used in Vinny, our big 40 foot class A motorhome, and it did fine just keeping us warm. But this is something that we're gonna use in uh, in case of emergency and overnight that we may need some heat when it drops down cool, especially we're going north and it's still April right now, early April, we might need it at the harvest house. But uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about these. A lot of people think that they put off carbon monoxide, but they do not. That's a myth. It's been proven time and time again. The one thing about these though, they do need oxygen. So you should crack a window there is a safety device on these. The flame naturally uses oxygen during the combustion process. And on these, they have an oxygen depletion sensor. So what happens is the pilot stands up, it's searching for that oxygen, and it activates that oxygen depletion sensor. Can't speak very good. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. It is safe, and it actually activates that long, long before the oxygen level ever gets unsafe inside your RV. Of course, you don't want to put them right in front of something that can catch fire, which is the case with any any heater, really. I was gonna watch the mud flaps, but... Oh, those are nothing to worry about. Okay, do you need me to watch it pull out or anything? No, I think we're good. We've... Okay. She's a worry wart. Do you have a worry wart in your group? <laughs> but that's okay, because sometimes those worry warts are the ones that catches things that you forget. Sometimes she has a tendency to stay in an area looking for things where I can't see her though. So make sure if you're helping and you're looking for your driver, make sure they're able to see you or you're on a phone, walkie talkie, something of that sort. Okay. Now we're ready to go? I think so. So the other day I took this hitch in with the truck to explore USA RV and I had this hitch adjusted up a little higher. Now I'm gonna go out here and take a look to see how straight and level that looks. It had a slight slant to it before and it might have barely a little bit, but that's okay. You don't want the back end tilting down either. 
So now what that did is it distributed the weight so it's balancing more on those wheels and not so much weight tugging down on that hitch. So you're going to get a better, smoother ride. Simply just much better. <laughs> oh, she already did it. Huh. Never mind. Hey, I did it. <laughs> That's one thing that... Uh, that we were really hoping to get when we were looking for a truck and one of them was the power mirrors to go in and out um, they are power mirrors to adjust them but as far as telescoping mirrors to go out and back in the fold in all that this didn't have it not a big deal but that's one thing that we we wanted to have so if you're driving down the interstate and you're oh i forgot to put the mirrors out well they're kind of hard to reach out and do yourself uh, you can do it, but um, then you got to pull over just to do that. It, it has happened to us once or twice, but inventory was limited on our uh, on the trucks, so we just got the best one that was available. All right, well, ready to go to Branson? I am. Are I'm you? excited. Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go. Get in the car and you'll drive We're leaving tonight Away from these streets And the cold buzzing neon lights Been keeping our heads up off water Struggling and striving We ain't gonna turn back this time We'll just keep driving you got one hand on money, one hand on the steering wheel, world's passing by outside. The flickering light of the white lights in the corner of my eye. Since we had that equalizer hitch adjusted, it had a little bit of a bounce in the back, and uh, whenever you go over bumps, I've noticed it's really smoothed that out. So. I really didn't realize how bad it actually was. So now that we moved the hitch up, it's very obvious. So now it's it's pretty steady. I've had a lot of people ask, you know, do you notice that it's back there? You can notice that it's back there from when you don't have it hooked up and you do, but it's not a huge difference. I can just feel the little bit of tug, but boy, this, this truck really pulls it well. You can go up mountains hills whatever we um, of course we tested it when we first got it through some mountains and uh, you can go whatever speed you want it doesn't uh, it's not like Vinny or old class a that thing really struggled up the mountains and sometimes it would uh, you know if you've ever driven a, a class a diesel pusher sometimes they can overheat that's why you always see the the semis going so slow up mountains so it's just uh, part of it but with this truck you can go just a regular speed limit has no issues whatsoever and michelle she's over there answering all y'all's comments we love our visionaries okay don't get all weird on them now Chicken bones there, girl. Dang.
wasn't much room to pull over off the side of the road here. But uh, I looked over and someone had a frumpy look on their face. I figured it out. They just wanted to drive. There was no cars behind us. We pulled over real quick and did a real fast switch. So this might give me a chance to get some more uh, B-roll footage for you guys as well. So we've been seeing some really beautiful sights. I keep telling her, just tell me if you want to drive. I say, you want to drive? I don't care. I'm asking you, do you want to drive? Sure. Diesel's only 270 something here. It was like 290 something on the other side at, uh, at Love's. minutes left 30 miles yeah. supposed to arrive at 6 38 so before dark hopefully we get all hooked up before dark we should uh, so this is uh 
was it Treasure? Treasure Lake. Yeah, Treasure Lake RV Resort. Um, they uh, and in Branson, Branson, Missouri. And uh, it is an RPI, so the RPI rate there is $19 a night, full hookups. They told me on the phone that this resort is supposed to be the second largest in the United States. did a good job driving didn't you feel good driving today it did did you notice a difference in uh, the way it felt driving now that we changed the hitch i think so yeah, yeah it just seemed a little smoother yeah i definitely did we're here here it is we've got uh this is a big place this is just one small section of it and uh we wanted to get close to the shower houses because we can't take cold showers. We don't want to anyway. We're gonna go have catfish. They said they have a big catfish Saturday Saturday. night. Big catfish fry. Catfish and shrimp, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, we might. It's gonna hook up to Stinky Slinky and I think we're ready. And now we're gonna go grab something to eat because that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> and neither one of us feels like cooking. We had a hard day. And we're in Branson. We're only gonna be here for a week. Not even a week, six days. Yeah. So I want to take advantage of it. Getting basted. Thank you. You're so welcome. This all mine? Your food all turned good. Guess where we had to stop? You know what we No, I got her ice cream. I'm going back to the truck. If I can just get four bites, I'll be happy. And she doesn't run, so I'm good. She ran. It's mine now. We uh, met with friends of ours, uh, Calvin and Lisa and Jaden. Shout out to Jaden. We met with them, had a good time uh, strolling around. The, it's a, I think it's the old downtown area, isn't it? Called the... Uh, the Landing. The landing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really neat. That was not there many, many moons ago when the last time I was here. I think it's been close to 30 years. Last time I was here, and <laughs> Michelle, I'm not sure. Old. Yeah, hey, it's so uh, pretty. I mean, there's lots of hills and lots of trees, and yeah, and uh, there's so much more now. This place has grown so much, it's incredible. Um, but boy, that downtown uh, landing area is just, it's awesome. It's beautiful. It is. But uh, we're going to take you down there and show that to you and um, just do a little cruise around here. And, and uh, while we're here, we're only going to be here a few more days. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the nicest weather day expected. Oh, yeah. We have like a cold front coming in with even potential snow. Cray cray, because I think it's in the 70s today. Yeah. And that's going to drop really quick. But let's quit talking and let's show these guys. <laughs> quit talking and start showing, right?
got here on Saturday and this stretch was wasn't moving much at all. There's a lot of people here on the weekend. Mm -hmm. But now it's uh it's not like that at all during the week. It is Monday today and I wouldn't say it's dead, but not near as many people. made it down to the Branson Landing area. We parked by the Bass Pro Shop because it has, uh, actually our friends, Calvin and Lisa, told us that that's probably the best place to park down here with a big truck. And it is free parking, FYI. Um, this place over here has been closed. Mm -hmm. It was closed yesterday when we came. And they said uh, it's they opened up on Tuesday. So. I I don't know if they're open just Tuesday to Saturday, maybe, or what? Might be. I was going to say, it's beautiful out. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. We're going to go eat at a Mexican restaurant that they highly recommended. It's down here. Um, this, it looks like a river. It's actually called Lake Tanicomo. We were watching a guy catching a bunch of trout yesterday, just every single cast, yeah. liter literally. They were small ones, um, big enough to keep. I suppose he kept them but he did run fast did you notice that he did he, he said he, i'll be leaving he now. <laughs> took his basket of fish and like he was out of here so when you park down here at bass pro then uh, you're right next to this little walk river walk that you can yeah. go to the the area where all the shops are i yep. beg to differ lake tanny como walk okay yeah. <laughs> could you tell me is this place uh what it's all quacked up to be he doesn't like... He uh, doesn't like your jokes. He doesn't like those dry jokes. No. Uh, pretty lame. <laughs> I do say so myself. I just did. I said so you myself. You said it. Would you do this? Oh, would, Wait for it. Would you do it? After a few margaritas, I might. Otherwise, no. Oh, no. Well, that's just one trip. Then they go back. What? Why would they want to do such a crazy thing? It's a baby Bellagio fountain. Mm. Well, this is a Mexican restaurant called the uh, Cantina Laredo, right next to the baby Bellagio. <laughs> fountain. Fountain. I'm s fountain. Oh my god, there's a car in the water. Listen to this dessert. Okay. It's called Mexican apple pie. Yeah. Sizzled in Mexican brandy with cinnamon ice cream. Chips and salsa look good. Yeah, they nice have a, and thin and crispy. A lot of um, margaritas here that look tasty. How do they look tasty on paper? They do. <laughs> For starters. This salsa is really good. I know, I like it. It's like one of my favorite salsas. It's very Literally. good. It's not like overpower no. spicy because we're wimps. Mm. And uh, the chips are light. So this was another recommendation from our friend Lisa. Uh, the and Calvin. And Calvin. The Cucumber Chili Rita. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's any good. Have you? you? Can, no, and you can smell the cucumber. That's very good. Is it? Yeah. It's very refreshing. Like I could see like oh, wow. that would get you in trouble after a few. That really is. Oh, yeah. that's good. Very that's good. very good. That's that's I like a, the little uh, kick it has yeah. to it too. I'm not talking about alcohol kick, I'm like the jalapeno kick. I I'd say that's that's worth a nine rating. 
for yeah, as far as the margarita good. goes. I think we might have to get another one. That's Let's good. Thank you. Mexican <laughs> apple <laughs> pie. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just an every average day. Yeah. It's in brand, uh, brandy butter and cinnamon ice cream. I think I can like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Mm. Good, huh? Very good. Mm. Am I going to get any of that? Yeah. If you see a flavor you do not want to put your hand over the pot for me, just tell me something, let me know. I forgot to get the rating on that Mexican apple pie. I want to give it like an eight. Really wow. good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Especially I, the part where I burnt my lips because it was so hot. Ow. I feel like I have Botox. When they say it's on a sizzling skillet, they mean it. Yeah, her lips were sizzling. <laughs> hey there, hot lips. <laughs> Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep Honey, you won't look in Paula Dane's. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Let's go in there, sweetie. You want to get a pie here? Pie? Yeah. No. Why? Too full? Yeah. Well, I have the perfect sign for you. Oh, what? Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week!